Palestine and uh, an Arab or Muslim homeland. But why was it only the Jews who got their homeland? Because the Arabs rejected the two-state solution since they rejected only the Jews had a share in Palestine or what is known as the Holy Land. Okay, now look at how they all converged in 2017. Then we will backtrack to 2015 later. 2017. All of these biblical numbers all end up in 2017. 1897, the year of the first Zionist Congress. You add 120 years, it ends 2017. 1917, the year of the Balfour Declaration. Add 100 years, 2017. 1947, or 1947, the year Israel was reborn as a nation because the UN resolution approving the state of Israel was dated November 1947. Then officially, Israel became a state May 1948. So 1947 plus 70 years is 2017. 1967, the year Jerusalem was retaken by Israel, you add 50 years jubilee, celebrating its deliverance, that is 2017. And in 1977, the first time that an Arab made peace with Israel, Anwar Sadat, David, uh, Camp David Peace Accord under President Jimmy Carter, plus 40 is 2017. This is something that Bible scholars are wondering. Why is it that all biblical numbers with prophetic significance applied to Israel all end in 2017? They all meet in 2017. Just uh, let your spirit connect with the Spirit of the Lord and just ask Him, Lord, are you saying something? Uh, let me... Uh, take a side trip first. Do you know that your spirit can think apart from your brain? Your spirit can think. In uh, Elijah House seminar, I found out and it became clear to me that rejection by the mother of a fetus which does not even have a brain yet will already be received by the fetus even before he or she develops a brain. If you don't want your baby, you regret having that baby, you are angry for having that baby, even that baby is one week, two weeks, three weeks, year old, it will already receive a spirit of rejection because the spiritual mind already receives the spiritual communication of the mother that I don't want you, I regretted you, that you are born into this world. If I could have my way, I would have aborted you, etc. So I, I'm just proving to you that the spiritual mind has a mind of its own apart from the physical mind. So when you see these things, think with your spiritual mind. Do not think with your analytical, human, university, college educated mind. Think with your mind of the spirit, the spirit of the Lord. Why is it all meeting in 2017? So that is the testimony of the first witness. All the biblical numbers are pointing to the fact that something is cooking in or towards 2017. We look at the second testimony, the testimony of the second witness, the testimony of the stars. And we, we, uh, and we will see what year they point out certain things also. Remember in Genesis 1 that the lights in the firmament of the heaven are for signs. So stars, moon, sun are for signs. Then they are for seasons and they are for days and years. But they are first of all signs. Remember the first coming of Jesus had the confirming witness of the stars. In the astrology, I need to be very strong with this. Astrology. I was listening in my research of this, I was listening to a lecture of an astrotheologian. He calls himself astrotheologian, a theologian of the stars. Astro stars, theology, study of God. So it's neither astronomy nor astrology, it's astrotheology. 
The wise men studied the stars in the east to know when the king of the Jews would be born. Okay. Why, it be, why did it become a uh, horoscope? Because the enemy stole it from us. How and when? The angels that rebelled against God, one third of them, in Genesis 6, impregnated some of the women of the earth. Remember Genesis 6, the sons of God, the angels, fell in love. They transferred what they know of the stars and told it to human beings. And they twisted, now please take note of this, the difference between astrology and astrotheology. What is the difference? You know that it is from the devil when you use the stars to tell you about your future. The stars have no, have nothing to say about you. So when it is about you, you know it is from the devil. The stars only speak about God. So when you plot the Capricorn and the Aquarius, etc., what will happen to you next month in the sky, you know it is from the devil because the stars tell about God. If the stars tell about God, listen to it, analyze it, evaluate it. If it tells about you, you will marry tall, dark, and handsome. Then of the three qualifications, only dark was present. The tall and the handsome did not materialize. But since you are over the calendar, you got married anyway. That is not already from the Lord. That is from the devil. Okay? So, we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. This is the first coming. The first coming. Question, will the stars again testify for the second coming? Two passages in the scripture says yes. Luke 21, 25. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. In Revelation 22, Jesus said, I have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. Now look at this. And the bright and morning star. The bright and morning star of the offspring of David. I have something surprising to report to you about this as we go along. But the meaning of the word morning is boker, which means end of the night and the break of a new day. Morning means boker. And star means aster, literally a star. So a bright and morning star means the end of a certain period called the night and the beginning of a new season called the day. If a morning star appears, that means a night is about to end and morning is about to begin. Now, I have a surprise for you. Where did the wise men of the first coming see the star in the east? That was the celestial alignment of Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and the star Regulus in the constellation of Leo on September 11, 3 BC. The stars aligned and their combined, combined uh, power was so bright that the wise men understood that that was announcing the birth of the Savior. Where did they get the idea that Jesus would be king of the Jews? They got it from Daniel, who used to be the dean of the wise men of Babylon. That was the star of the first coming. I have news to tell you. Without our knowing it, the bright and morning star has appeared recently to announce to the world that a new season is coming. When you put them together, they form the star of David. This is how it will look like. They call it the star of David. Okay? When is it going to appear in our times? The positioning of the planets 
forming the star of David has already appeared since 1990 up to 2012. It has appeared 12 times. It appeared the 13th time last July 2013. Please, please sustain your attention because this is very interesting. The Star of David last appeared in July 2013 to be followed by the Tetrad in 2014 to 2015. And something else will follow that after in 2017. So let's be patient and look at it. This is how the Star of David looks like, how it positioned itself, why is it called the Star of David? Because in their positioning, there is a perfect 23 point blank degrees. If from the center, this is 23.5, 23.5, 23.5. It's a perfect triangle going down, perfect triangle going up. It, they call it the Star of David. That has appeared in July 2013. And this is how it has been appearing since 1990. It appeared on this date. Then in 1992, it appeared again. Then it appeared again in 1995. Then in 1996. Then in 1997. Twelve times until it last appeared in 2013 of July. Question. So what if it appeared 12 times and the last time, the 13th time. Remember the number 12. The number 12 represents government. 12 months is one year. 12 tribes, 12 apostles, 12 hours in the night, 12 hours in the day. How about the number 13? Remember that the Apostle Paul is called the 13th Apostle because there were 12 Apostles apart from the Apostle Paul. Judas, the traitor, was replaced by Ma Matthias. Okay. So, Paul was also called an Apostle. But he was...